Hi, my name is Trudy Healy, and I'm your angel card reader here for Beacons of Angel Light. And this is your weekly reading starting the week of October 17, 2016. Um, so today I'm recording, and it's Saturday, the 15th. Um, we have a full moon coming tomorrow, the 16th, and that's going to be influencing the oncoming week. This is the hunter's full moon and so it's kind of like a savage moon if you will because there was a lot of bloodshed um, the Native Americans used to around this time of year especially for this full moon they would go on their last hunt of the year and then cure all of the meats and you know smoke them and do all of that but there was a lot of bloodshed on the night of that full moon so in addition it's also a time of evolution there's like a painful evolution inside of all of us that's taking place um, it's kind of like a shedding of a skin for a snake um, like it's parts of us that no longer serve us that we're, we're letting go of um, it could be belief systems it could be other people's imposed belief systems on us. It could be um, people that no longer serve us. It could be jobs. It could be living arrangements. It could be pff, any number of different scenarios. Like you guys will have your own uh, ways where it manifests in your own life. Um, so that's the pre-message for the week. Now I haven't done this before but I wanted to, I mean I've shown you how, how I clear the cards but I haven't done it live like just shuffle the cards and not pre-study them um, and the angels want me to uh, stop depending so much on Doreen Virtue's book they want me to give you guys my my own reading so by the way I'm gonna be using Doreen Virtue and Raleigh Valentine's angel tarot cards and um, so let me just get a little more centered here sorry about the uh, makeshift <laughs> it's gonna be swaying around so I'm gonna clear the deck and ask our Lord to give us the message for the week of October 17 and so I like to clear the deck so I'm going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Um, and in my mind I'm saying control alt delete kind of to just clear the energy so here what I'm doing now is that I'm separating the cards so in the traditional tarot if any of you know there's the minor arcana and the major arcana and in this type of angel tarot the major arcana would be the archangels and the minor arcana uh, arcana would be the um i i want to say like mythological creatures that that uh Doreen virtue has chosen to depict for us so i'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling here and so the way that I do this is that I just shuffle the cards and like this one that's popped out, that one's for this week. So Doreen Virtue does it a bit different. She goes like, this card's for Monday, Tuesday. This one would be for like Wednesday, Thursday. Actually, we should do that. They're telling me, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, let's see. They're saying one more card. There it is. They said finish shuffling the deck. Okay. Yeah, so we have... They're so funny. Um, they said that this will help a little bit more as far as the timing goes because... Um, I don't focus very much on the time um, in our readings and they said that people want to know more or less uh, how it's gonna come out so all right it's great cards I was just taking a peek sorry um, so there's an angel at least one angel that wants to work with us and, and so I separated the angel cards here we have let's see I'm gonna shuffle them now no that's not it Ah, but this one is, and it's two of them. Beautiful. And they want me to finish shuffling it, though. Okay. <laughs> I 
All right, so let's start with the reading. So the first card that we got is the Six of Earth. And all right, so this is gifts being received from someone. Um, and, and I do want to say it could be financial assistance or something of a, a price like a great value, monetary value that you'll be receiving from someone or debts being paid or um, someone gives you their time or advice which is going to in turn be profitable, um, something to that effect. It's, it's, it's going to be generosity to your advantage and to your um, to your financial advantage, let's call it that. Um, and so I, I kind of want to show you guys the picture here because it's it's a balance and that speaks volumes to me being a Libra. I don't know if any of you out there are Libras watching, um, but there's there's gold coins on either side and there's a fairy like dropping off another one and, and the whole thing's balanced. Um, so, you know, take whatever resonates with you. Um, the next card that we got is another Earth card, and this is a card of students. Um, so there is good news concerning finances. Um, it could be concerning a new job. It could be concerning a promotion. Um, but more so, this card is also encouraging us to hit the books. There's either a test that we need to study for or just revisiting that we need to do for studying or an entirely new area of study that we were picking up. And so we were being encouraged to hit the books the way that we would have done when we were like 11 years old. Um, like seriously hit the books and make time for it. Um, so this is a scholarly, dependable, patient, successful person. I really want you guys to take that with you. That's, that's how we were being portrayed for this particular week. And then we've gotten the Eight of Fire. So this is like, right now, all of the blocks are being lifted and things are starting to move and we're not used to it because we've been stagnant for so long things haven't moved. And so it's kind of like a bit scary because things are all moving forward really quickly and it's a good thing, it's moving forward in the direction that we wanted. Um, the only thing is, it's hard to pay attention because there's so many things going on, there's so many um, different things that are evolving around us and it's hard for us to remain focused because there's so many things that need our attention. So, um, like the angels, especially Archangel Michael, what he's saying is, you to organize your time and if need be like for the studying thing he wants us to set aside routine you know like Monday Wednesday Friday I'm gonna do two hours at such and such time things like that like make it a date and an appointment that you can't that you can't miss you know um, <laughs> my dog Valentine's out here. Anyway, so then we've gotten the Eight of Water, and it's a desire to move on, um, searching for something more meaningful in life. Um, and this is pointing to our spiritual and emotional growth. So I really want to point out, and I, I often say this with the water suit, I really want to point out that all of the chalices that are there, they're at the bottom of the ocean. So the chalices, you know how there's that saying of, is your cup half full or half empty? And the chalices are submerged. They're completely filled and submerged. They're, they're, they're all the way at the bottom of the sea. And the light of the sun is seeping in through the water. It's beautiful. So, um, you know, I see this as our chakras getting the light of the sun and receiving our own personal divine message. It's time to meditate and I really want to encourage you all if you're watching this video early to get out and meditate beneath the full moon outside literally 
even if it's only for 10 minutes, just deep breathing. That's all it takes. If you want to do a guided meditation, there's lots of them on YouTube. I even did one with Archangel Michael to release the lower vibrations. So since we're talking about lower vibrations, um, this is what keeps you from your ascension process is the parasites and they reside in the lower vibrations. So if we're to describe the lower vibrations as like the um, color wheel, do you guys remember how like in art class we had the uh, color wheel with the three primary colors, you know, yellow, red, and blue. The uh, primary colors for the lower vibrations would be anger, sadness, and fear. And then, you know, stemming from those, we'd have, like, resentment, um, I don't know, insecurities. Um, there's so many others that are related to anger, sadness, and fear. Like, that's what it boils down to. So um, I did that guided meditation. Now, the next card that we got, and it's funny that I was just talking about releasing all of those lower vibrations. The angel... I mean, I did it with Archangel Michael, and Archangel Michael did come up, and, and he's, you know, been giving me messages to relay throughout this reading, so definitely ask Archangel Michael's help, um, but the angels that came up for this particular week were Archangel Azrael, and it's release. It's the end of a phase or situation. It's spiritual transformation, and it's time to move on. So in this matter that I was talking about, releasing those lower vibrations, Archangel Azrael wants to assist you, and so does Archangel Michael. Now, the only way that they can do this is if you happen to ask for their help because you have your free will. So you have to ask Archangel Azrael, Archangel Michael, help me in abandoning or in releasing that which no longer serves my highest purpose. So, um, I encourage you all to say that out loud. And then we have Archangel Haniel, and it's so funny because she comes up as the moon. And we have this beautiful hunter's moon coming up tomorrow night, and it's going to be influencing all of this coming week. And so this is kind of like talking about the obscure there. Like, you can see what's directly in front of you, but you can't see what's lingering on the sides because it's nighttime, and so you have to rely on your intuition in order to move forward. It can be scary. You know, you don't know what's in the abyss. But does it phase you? Does it keep you standing still? Absolutely not. You keep moving forward, ever forward. So um, you have important psychic insights that are going to guide you. There's a lot of events taking place in the background, like in, in your surrounding area, things that you're not privy to, but um, you have to release your fears because your fears are the limitations. Your fears are the only thing holding you back. Um, and that's why I was saying, like, it, it just holds hands with what I was telling you about releasing the lower vibrations, anger, sadness, and fear. And so you guys just ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Azriel, and Archangel Haniel um, to help out with all of that. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Many blessings. Lots of love. Get back to me with your messages. Let me know how it went. Sorry I didn't post a reading last week. We had Hurricane Matthew. It was a Category 3 here in Florida. Um, so I've got lots of yard work to do even now. Um, but anyway, I'm sending you lots of love. So mwah, have a wonderful week. And don't forget to click subscribe. That way you guys can get updated every single time I post a video. So again, I love you all. Have a great week.